The first thing I'd like to introduce today is in the planning and preparation stages. This is the Celos job workflow. Celos has built-in functionality that lets you define a job with information and then send it out to machines on your shop floor. Everyone, please meet Mika Wecky. She's going to lead us through the Celos job workflow today. Hello, Mika. Hi, Stuart. So normally we see Celos on machines, but what we have here today is Celos on a PC screen. So could you please lead us through this, how it works and what this is? Of course. So this is Cell's PC version. Basically, Cell's job workflow consists of three different apps, Job Manager, Job Scheduler, and Job Assistant. Job Manager, Job Scheduler can be used on the machine, but those could be considered as management tools, so it makes more sense to use it on a PC. So let me show you how it works. In Job Manager, you can create a job, set the target time frame and quantity of parts, and attach setup information and instructions for operators. For example, utility devices, tool list, or 3D model, and most importantly, NC programs. Once you put all the information together into one job, you can send it to the machine using job scheduler through your company network. So here, I just send this job to the NHX in our showroom. As you can see, multiple machines can be connected to Cell's PC version. So you can manage jobs and schedules in one central location. Thank you, Mika. So this is a great tool for remote work then. Yes, as long as the PC is connecting to machines through network, production managers or programmers can give directions to operators from office or even from home. So this is great. We've just created a job and then sent it out to one of the machines on our showroom floor. Let's head over there to look at how the third app in the series, Job Assistant, will work from the operator's point of view. So here we are at the machine and the first app we're going to look at is Job Scheduler. Recall that Mika created the job information in Job Manager. So if we open Job Scheduler, we can see the jobs that are currently scheduled to this machine. We're at the red cursor in the center of the screen and this is the job that we've been sent. So the next step will be to open the Job Assistant app. Here we can see the information about the job that Mika created in the office. So we see the job name, information, start time, and date, and so forth. From here, we can go into the setup information and pull up all the information that Mika assigned. Note that the different fields on our job screen are not editable by the operator. This is something that only the manager defines. So inside the setup screen, we can view all these different information, check our NC data, ensure that it's loaded to the machine, and each of these has a check on a checklist to ensure that your operator is going through the correct steps. Once we're done, we'll be able to load this over to the NC, and then we're ready to start machining. So let's summarize right now. First of all, in the office, we use Job Manager to construct a job with setup documents and other scheduling information on a PC, in Cello's PC version. Then we sent it over the company network to this machine. Now using the machine, we've used Job Scheduler to confirm that that is the job on our schedule, then Job Assistant to go through the different setup steps and verify that we have the most up-to-date information to do a successful and efficient setup. So we're done here. Overall, the Celos job workflow offers an efficient and digitized solution for your shop floor, not only for paperless shop docs, since this reduce paper, reduces paper checklists and other paper items in your floor, but also for remote work, since we can do our job manager tasks from an office. So the machine is ready to start. But what if we walk away? How do we know that things will continue to function as intended? What if something goes wrong? Now this brings us to our next step in the DMG Mori digitization process chain, monitoring. 